<laughs> now, the word instruction I'm using here is not the word the way you understand it. The word instruction I'm using here is that you must follow God's discipline. You must accept God's discipline. You must accept God's correction. That's the instruction I'm talking here. You must accept God's instruction. You see, the Bible says, let us go to Proverbs. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4. I'm going to read verse 13. Proverbs 4, 13. Now listen to me. It says, Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. In other words, the word instruction there, the I in victory is instruction. The word instruction there is the what? Is discipline, correction. You know what you can say? Take fast hold of discipline. Take fast hold of correction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is the life. In other words, you must be ready to accept God's discipline. You must be ready to accept God's correction at all times. Yes, the Bible says there is no perfect, no, not one. But God still told Abraham, walk before me and be thou perfect. And Jesus Christ also said that you must be perfect as your heavenly father word is perfect. We know we have not attained perfection. That is why sometimes we make mistakes. I don't call it sin. I don't want to call it sin because it's not sin. We make mistakes. And when you make mistakes, the Lord what? Disciplines you. The Lord corrects you. He tells you what you have done is wrong. Are you listening to me? For example, you are here now. God wants you to be here. Are you listening to me? God wants you to be here. And you are here. But because you have stayed here for so long, just as it happened to me when I got a call to a church. I got a call to two churches. So I have to respond to one. But I responded to the wrong one. And I knew I responded to the wrong one. But I was feeling since both churches are, I'm going there to do what? The work of God. So I left for the wrong church because it's the work of God. The wrong church is a smaller church. <laughs> The one I'm running away from is a bigger church. So I was in the smaller church. And the Lord came to me. He said, I want you to leave the smaller church and go what? To the big church. God has to correct me at that time. I need to accept God's correction at that very time. The Lord did not give me peace until I responded to what? To his call. To change from that place to the one he wanted me to go. Are you listening to me? So, I call that mistake. You may have made mistake. Sometimes we do it purposely, but sometimes we do it both purposely and unknowingly. You understand? Just like what I'm saying now. This, they are both churches. And what am I going to do there? The work of God. So, I decided to go to this one. If I go to this one, I will still do what? The work of God. If I go to that one, I will still do what? The work of God. So, who are we working for? For God. But the Lord said, no, you must go to what? The next one. Purposeful mistake, I will call that one. You understand? Because there are certain things that I don't like in the bigger one, which the Lord wants me, wanted to teach me. And I thank God for the lesson I went there to learn. And that's what is helping me here in the United Kingdom. Praise God. Lord have shown me. So, what I'm trying to say is this you must be ready to accept God's discipline, God's chastening. God will satanize you sometimes. Mine was restlessness. I couldn't be at peace. I couldn't sleep until I responded to the change, to the right place the Lord wanted me to be. And so the Lord corrected me at that time. So when was ready, he said, Hold. He said, Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go, for she is thy life. She is thy life. Because if you did not keep to God's instruction, if you did not keep or accept God's chastening, God's discipline, God's correction, I am telling you, you will go to hell. 
If you're always annoying, God, why me? You see, something is it. The, the life that I live personally is not the same life you live. You see, the life I live, you see, long time ago, I saw a sticker. And the, the sticker said, Others may, you can't. Others may, you can't. And through my life, through the journey I've journeyed with the Lord for over 20, 20, 20 how many years? I mean, 24 years, 25 years now. That I've journeyed with the Lord all through this year that I've journeyed with the Lord. I discovered that, that that sticker I saw that day referred to me. You see, others may do things the way they like. I mean, Christians. And God will not say anything. But me, if I do it, God will discipline me. I can't do it. So the life I live is that in the life of others may, but I can't. That's why I don't join others to do what they are doing. Because God will not allow me to do it. And so I have to follow God the way God wants me to do what? To do things. She is thy life. If you want to make the kingdom of God, if you want to maintain a victorious Christian life, you must accept God's instruction. You must accept God's discipline. And let us see in the book of Proverbs also, Proverbs chapter 9, verse 9. It says, Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in knowledge. Give instruction, give discipline. To a wise man, and you what? You will become wiser. Chasing a wise man, and you become what? Wiser. So if you want to become wiser in the things of God, you must what? Accept God's discipline in your life. Praise God. But Paul says something. Paul said, okay, let me, let me see. There are other proverb verses that I have here. Proverbs 23, verse, verse um, 12. Let's see Proverbs 23. I have some other proverb verses here. I, I said, I, said no, I know I'm not going to finish this message. Proverbs 23, verse 12, it says, Apply thy heart unto instruction. You know what? Apply thy heart unto chastening, unto instruction, unto correction, and thy ears to the words of knowledge. Let your mind be ready to accept God's word, God's instruction. Proverbs 3, Proverbs 3, verse 11. I'm going to read Proverbs 3, 11. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. My son, my daughter, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. Do not despise it. When God is correcting you, you have to listen very carefully. But God, you don't argue with God? I didn't argue with God. I, didn't, I, I have not sat down one day and said, God, why is it that you allow others to do it? Why is my home different? Why is my home different? I have never questioned God because I have the Spirit of God by His grace and I decided to follow His instruction. I decided to follow His correction. Whatever He says, that is what I am what willing to do. Maintaining a victorious life. Maintaining a victorious life. And let me conclude on this first part and say, let us see what Paul said in Hebrews Chapter 12. Hebrews chapter 12. Look, look, look at what the Bible says. He said, Hebrews 12. Hebrews chapter 12. Verse 6 said, No, let me read for verse 5. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto his son. Just similar to Proverbs chapter 3, verse 11. My son, despite not thou the chastening of the Lord. Not faith when thou are rebuked of him, when you are corrected. For whom the Lord loveth is chastened, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If you endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But now, furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected and we have, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much more? Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? If you yield, if you accept God's instruction, God's correction at all times, you don't question it. Don't sometimes people question God. People question God. And God may give them answer. You understand? I know I would have questioned God one or twice, but God will not give me answer. 
Because that's the way God deals with me. Why, the, why is God dealing with me that way? Because God knows that I know. 